Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile for my Invoked Shadal. Uh, if you are trying to build this deck, hopefully this profile can give you a pretty good guide on how to build it. And also, if you do enjoy this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you're new to the channel. And uh, kind of the common question for this video, I wanted to ask you guys what your favorite Invoked Fusion or Shadal Fusion is. Um, me personally, I really enjoy Shadal Construct just because uh, she keeps the plays going and she just can extend really well. But yeah, it's going to get right into the deck profile. Uh, of course, you want to start off with the three Alistair, the Invoker. You always want to see him in the opening hand or a way to get to him. Uh, when he's normal summoned, you get to add an invocation. And if he's in your hand, you can discard him to give one of your fusion monsters a thousand attack and defense. Uh, next three, Shadal Skomata. He's a foolish burial for any of your Shadal cards. When he's sent by card effect, when he's flipped, he targets a card on the field, or a monster on the field, and destroys it. Two, re Shadal Windy. When it's flipped, you get to special summon a Shadal monster in either face up or face down defense position. When it's sent by card effect, you have to special summon the monster from the deck in face down defense position. Uh, really nice to extend. Because you can fusion summon with face down monsters uh, with the Shadal Fusion or Al Shadal Fusion. So, really nice. And you can also set up for a next turn and stuff like that by setting a Hedgehog or a Beast or something like that. And of course, the Aerial for the combo. But then, next, two Shadal Hedgehog. When it's flipped, you get to add a Shadal Fusion from deck to hand. And when it's sent by card effect, you can add a monster from deck to hand. So this is another card that's really nice to extend with, um, especially if you open up multiple fusion spells. Uh, just gets you that extra Shadal card to go into those plays. Then two Shadal Beast. When it's flipped, you can draw two cards and discard one card, which is really nice because if you have like a Squamata in hand and you're able to get this effect off, uh, you can send that Squamata and then that. Um, effect will go off, letting you send another Shadal card from your deck to your graveyard. So really nice. And then of course when it's sent by card effect, you draw one card. So it's really good draw power. And it could just help extend as well. For hand traps, I'm running two effect veilers. Um, negates a, a f opponent's monster effect for the entire turn. Um, and it is a light target, which is pretty nice. And then two... Ash Blossom Joy Spring. If uh, your opponent tries to activate any of these effects, which includes adding a card from your deck to from deck to hand, sending a card from the deck to the graveyard, or special summoning from the deck, uh, you send this card to the graveyard, negate that activation. Really nice. But I am going to be uh, probably siding these cards or taking them out altogether and replacing it, them with uh, three Gamma and one Driver. I just feel like those will be uh, a bit better in this format. One Shadal Dragon. Um, when it is flipped, you can target one card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. And if it's sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can destroy a spell or trap your opponent controls. One Aerial. When it's flipped, you can special summon one of your banished Shadal monsters. And if it's sent by card effect, you can banish three cards from either player's graveyard. And then one damage juggler. If you were to take uh, effect damage or battle damage, you can send it to the graveyard. And when it's in the graveyard, you can banish it to add one of your perform age monsters from deck to hand, uh, which would be either Trick Clown, uh, which if he's sent to the graveyard, you can special summon him in defense position by paying a thousand life points, but its attack and defense become zero. Or you can add perform age Hat Tricker, which if there are two or more monsters on the field, you can special summon that from your hand. And then a card I'm trying out is Capshell. When it's used for a Link Summon, Xyz Summon, or if it's detached for an Xyz effect, or used for a Fusion Summon, you get to draw a card. Uh, so I just wanted to try that out since this deck heavily relies on uh, Links and Fusions, mainly Fusions, but uh, since it's zero attack, you can go into Almirage and just get a free draw. So pretty cool. I'll do it for the monsters. For the spells, I'm running three Meltdown. As you, your Alistair, when activated, 
and then your opponent can't respond to fusion summons or negate fusion summons, sorry. Uh, and then three invocation. Um, if you're using monsters from your hand, it acts as a, a regular polymerization card. But if uh, you're going for an invoked monster, you can banish it. Uh, in the materials from graveyard or field, or either player's graveyard or field. Um, and that is a hard one's return if you're doing it for the um, invoked monster. But um, if you have multiples of these with um, materials for different fusion summons, you can activate multiple invocations in a turn, which is pretty nice. And then three should all fusion. Uh, in my opinion, the best sh uh, fusion card in the deck, just because if your opponent controls a extra deck monster, you can uh, fusion summon using monsters uh, from your deck as material. So pretty nice. And then. Al Shadal, or Al Shadal Fusion, sorry. <laughs> um, it's just a quick play fusion spell for the Shadals, um, so pretty nice. Uh, it helps you push for game or OTKs and stuff like that. And then Super Poly at 2. Uh, you discard one card, fusion summon a monster using materials on either player's field. So you can really disrupt plays, get rid of big boss monsters because your opponent can't respond to it. So really nice. Uh, one terraforming and one foolish burial. That'll do it for the spells. I do run two traps. Um, I'm running the incarnation and the shadal schism. Um, I'm just trying this out. You can replace this with um, another super poly if you like. Off to the extra deck really quick, I'm running the one invoked Kelliga, just to stall. Um, two Al Shadal Winda to lock the opponent down. One invoked Purgatrio, this one can get really big because it gains 200 attack for each of your opponent's cards they control. It's pretty nice. Uh, I'm trying out three Shadal Construct, a lot of builds only run two. Uh, but I am trying out three, just because uh, you can combo off really nice with this deck and use multiple win uh, multiple constructs per turn. And her effects are not a hard once per turn, so pretty nice. Uh, one Mechaba, which I'm going to bump up to two and replace um, the El Shadal Shikinaga. Um, Shikinaga is nice, but it doesn't come up as often as the Mechaba would, so... Uh, definitely replace uh, Shikinaga if you'd like with a another Makaba. Off to the Lynx, one Almirage, one Secure Gardena, just a one card Mechaba basically. Uh, so the play is of course going to Alistair, Link, uh, since its attack is only a thousand, into the Almirage, and then Link into the Secure Gardena. Uh, and then you'll have your Light and your um, Alistair Engrave, and then uh, Cross Sheep, just really good for fusion decks. Uh, one Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. Uh, if, a f if you fusion summon, you get to discard one card and then add an invocation from your deck to your hand, so it just helps extend. And it counts as an Alistair, the Invoker, on field and in graveyard, so pretty cool. Uh, one Apollosa, just for first turns, um, you can set this up with three negates. And it, it could just really stop your opponents if they don't have the outs to it. And then the one Borosaur Dragon. Um, it's really good against um, the Dragoons. And it just helps push for game. But yeah, that is my take on the deck. Uh, hopefully it does help you out if you are trying to build this deck. Uh, like I said in the beginning. And um, once again, if you are new, consider subscribing. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.